Okay, today I want to speak a message about um, the attacks of the enemies. Now, what I want to say today is we don't always know who our enemies are. We don't always know. We can't definitely sit down. You can't definitely name your enemies. Because who was an enemy yesterday may have repented and not be an enemy today. So you don't, like, what I want to say, we don't know who our enemies are. Okay, but God knows who they are. And believe you me, the Lord knows who they are. But we know we've got them because we can see things unfolding that are not of God. And we can see situations aren't quite correct how we think they ought to be. We may be oppressed. We may feel, you know, we're out of work. Or we may feel under oppression and things like this. So, you know, we know when we've got enemies because... We're told that, you know, everyone's got enemies, okay? Nobody is without enemies. Every, they said every every person has enemies, okay? These enemies could be, obviously, the demons in the spiritual realm, you know, the spiritual wickedness in high places. But also, some of them have manifested themselves as human agents in this world, and they've occupied bodies, you know, these demons have got inside of people who are just rejecting Christ and rejecting God. And each time they reject Christ and reject God, they're just filled with spirits and demons from the devil. <clears throat> and what happens is this, these demons completely change their personality. Their whole persona is completely different when people become possessed with evil spirits it changes them completely now when we're dealing with people that the devil has now risen up against us because it's not actually the flesh it's not them it's the spirit that's got inside of them that has now decided that you know to be against us right okay what what i want to talk about today is when they fire an arrow of insanity Okay, I've, I've heard pre women of God and men of God talking about this arrow of insanity. <clears throat> and I remember thinking, arrow of insanity? Is it, what, 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 you know, what is this like? Arrow? I don't know about, but I've seen a lot of men and women of God speaking on this subject of arrow of insanity. And what one man of God was saying was, they don't fire these arrows by day. They fire them in the night. So it is a scripture in the Bible which says arrows that, you know, about the arrows that fly, you know. And um, it could be that whilst we are sleeping that, you know, the powers of darkness have been preparing another, another arrow and then they fire it, you know. You know, so you wake up and all of a sudden there's another situation that you're, you say, oh, oh, right, I see, right. So... Basically, they're saying that these enemies fire arrows into our head, arrows of insanity, right? Because, like, we all know that they say that the devil is battling the mind. It's always your mind, okay? It's a mind game, all right? Now, I'm so glad that I have the mind of Christ. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. I, Lord, thank you for your mind, I thank God every day for the mind of Christ. Thank you, Lord. Lord Jesus, thank you for giving me your mind. Thank you. Thank you. I can't thank you enough, Lord, because your mind is great. Thank you, Lord. Okay, God, God gives us his mind. We have the mind of Christ, right? And they cannot penetrate the mind of Christ, no matter how hard they try. Now, this attack of... This, in, this arrow of insanity, which they throw out, perhaps in the night time, they do some witchcraft or voodoo or whatever, right? Sent to destroy us mentally. But let me just say something, right? It cannot work. It does not work. Your enemies don't understand this, right? Listen, this is what your enemies need to understand, that you are a new creation in Christ. I am a new creation. We, all of us that believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, we have been made into new creations. That means the old has passed away. Behold, all things become new. We are, we have been made new. 
spiritually, yes, in our heart and mind, but also you can see it in people's face. Like I can see when somebody, their face is beaming. I'm like, oh, I see the glory of God, you know, right. You can also see when somebody is mentally sick because their whole persona changes. It even changes one's face. You know, when somebody's under duress, mental duress, you know, uh, when you're mentally ill, it changes your whole face, your whole appearance, your whole persona, your attitude, your personality. When you're mentally depressed or when you're mentally ill, if, if somebody's mentally ill, they're completely different. OK, because in the past, before before I gave my life to Christ, I experienced such things and it could have been that the devil placed mental illness on me. Um it, it could have been it could have been the Lord himself because of sins that I committed. I don't know. But something has kind of let me know that a lot of it was attack from the enemy. OK, because like I believe that Satan has bound many people with madness. OK, but let me just say this now. These enemies that are practicing witchcraft and voodoo and hoodoo and all this stuff. A lot of it's done to, it's a, an attack against people, one's mind, especially us who are believers in the Lord Jesus Christ, especially us who Jesus has, has gifted with a sound mind. <clears throat> you are not the same anymore. The Lord has gifted you with a sound mind, the mind of Christ. Okay, they cannot penetrate that. The arrow that they send fired into your head to make you go crazy it doesn't penetrate because the mind of christ it just blocks it it's just like you know like when something repels it's wrong it just bounces back off again it can hit your head and it's a like, dung bounces off because the mind of christ is very very powerful very powerful mind the lord has gifted us with a very powerful mind and it tells us in the bible he gives us a sound mind Okay, right. What I want to say is that your enemies are very, very bad people. Okay, and they, they are very, very bad people. All right, your enemies are terribly, very bad people. And their wicked schemes for most of us, a lot, many of us, is this mental battle, mental. They are trying their hardest to cause people to lose their mind. But this is what I, I prophesize today. Your enemies will lose their mind in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm not joking. I'm serious, right? Your enemies will lose their mind. They will lose their mind. Because they've been attacking you for years and years and years, trying to make you lose your mind. I mean, also me. Years of attack. Mental, right? And you know when the Bible says, the Lord shall be an enemy to our enemies. The Lord shall be an adversary to our adversaries, right? So if your enemies are wishing you ill mentally, oh, trust me, th this is gonna go back on them sevenfold. So let me tell you this now, any enemies that are wishing you ill, they're wishing you madness, they're wishing me madness, they're wishing, they're wishing you to, to go crazy, They've, they've fired that arrow of insanity to try and penetrate your, your mind. But what they fail to realize is they cannot penetrate the mind of Christ. That is not, they cannot. The mind of Christ is massively powerful. Your mind is guarded with the mind of Christ. And they cannot. And that's what is frustrating them so much. They're so frustrated that they cannot attack your mind and it's and they're still going for it they're still firing these arrows and firing them and firing 
but it's they're just firing again and again and again and and it's just leave they're just in defeat <laughs> your enemies are in defeat because let me tell you the when we say back to sender i send that arrow back to sender it will go back to sender the lord will fire it back into their head into your enemy's head with 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 sevenfold sevenfold destruction okay remember the bible says and we shall see the reward of our enemies yeah we shall see the reward what well, it, it actually says we shall we we and only your eyes will see the reward of the wicked come on it's wicked for people to wish you ill it's wicked for them to try to cause you to get mentally sick some of you have got children to raise maybe three or four children maybe you've got you've got to take care of your spouse your children a job you've got many responsibilities plus you're trying to do the will of god and they're trying to fire arrows of insanity into your head no they're wicked come on the lord has to deal with these enemies okay and the greatest revenge that you will see this is what i'm gonna say lord avenge me just pray this prayer avenge me from of my enemies who wish me to go crazy lord in your mercy send back those arrows of insanity that they fired into my head these are spiritual arrows send it back to them and let them experience sevenfold seven times more madness into their own life lord curse my enemies with a curse now this is what i want to say right i've already told my enemies i'm not here for ridicule i'm not here for um ridicule and to be mocked the spirit of god in me cannot be mocked i'm going to let my enemies know now the spirit of god that lives in me cannot be mocked I have the spirit of the living God of, of, I have the spirit of the living God of heaven in me and it cannot be mocked. The Bible says that God will not be mocked. He shall not be mocked. Okay. Now these enemies that want to ridicule and mock me and I've told them to repent and they refuse. This goes to my unrepentant enemies. And this, this is a shout out to your unrepentant enemies as well. A shout out to my unrepentant enemies yeah a shout out to them i'll give them a shout out you unrepentant enemies that refuse to stop ridiculing me that refuse to stop uh mock, trying to mock me you want to mock the spirit of god in me you cannot mock god i'm not god but i but god has given me his spirit you cannot mock the lord none of us are god i know that but he does give us his spirit so therefore they cannot mock the spirit of the living god lord for this for what they are planning on doing their plans are wicked to cause many 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 men and women of god to to go crazy they're firing arrows of insanity to so many men and women of god they've fired these arrows of insanity insanity but lord through witchcraft through voodoo whatever they're doing the reward of our unrepentant enemies now let me just say this those who've repented who used to ridicule and mock me or you know but they've decided you know what we're going to stop all that nonsense that's enough yeah okay i forgive them and i'm surely god has forgiven them as well let i'm not angry with them i'm i'm addressing these unrepentant enemies who no matter how many warnings god shows them no matter how many men and women of god tell them to repent they refuse to repent okay because of their wickedness because of what they are trying to do to me and trying to do to you okay let me say this i declare and i decree that the lord shall strike them down with mental ill health your enemies need to go to a psychiatric unit i'm sorry my enemies they need to go to the psychiatric unit they are mental let, let's just be serious about this right your enemies are mental they have mental ill health my enemies they're mental they they are because what would cause them to be like this if they can't be normal with you that means they're mental they themselves are mentally ill okay 
But you see, because they're trying to make us ill, it cannot work. And if they continue to do wickedness to try to make you ill, they're trying to drag you down as well. No, they cannot. It will, cut, it will become to the point where it will become so much so that the Lord will, will actually hand them over to, to mental ill health if they refuse to repent. If they refuse to repent trying to send us mad, let me say this now. I declare and I decree that your enemies shall be thrown into, shall, they shall be cursed by God himself with insanity. The Lord, you know what, for, for all this wickedness that they've done, they will pay with their mind. They will pay for the wickedness that they've done. They will pay, these unrepentant enemies, they will pay with their mind. They will pay with their mind. I declare and I decree that your enemies who, are, who have fired that arrow of insanity, trying to penetrate the mind of Christ, which they cannot, your enemies will pay with their mind. The Lord will strike them with madness, with mental ill health. And that will be the reward of the wicked because it is wicked. It is wicked for people to keep trying to inflict you with, afflict you with madness. Okay, that is wicked. And, and they've done witchcraft and they've done voodoo and hoodoo, whatever they've done to, to, to send out that arrow of insanity. No, it will go back to them with double, dis with sevenfold destruction. I declare and I decree that all evil that my enemies wish on me this year, I declare and I decree it will go back to them. God will give it back to them sevenfold destruction this year. Okay, because remember the Bible says, we shall reap what we sow. Your enemies have sown seeds of madness into your life. My enemies have sown seeds of madness into my life, into many men and women of God's lives. They've sown the seeds of madness. And then they sit back thinking it's funny to watch us get, you know, crazy or shout or cry or they're trying to give you emotional abuse. They're trying to completely disturb the sound mind that Christ Jesus has given you. But let me say this now. Christ Jesus has given you a sound mind. He's given you a sound mind. And doesn't matter what arrow they send, it cannot penetrate the, the mind of Christ. It doesn't work because the mind of Christ is extremely powerful. They cannot penetrate that. They've done so many things to try and to try and take us down with mental ill health. But let me tell you this now, the Lord will take them. OK, these unrepentant enemies, he will take them down. OK, no, this will be the reward of the wicked. Remember, the Bible says they we reap what we sow. They have sown seeds of madness into my life, into your life and into many men, into the lives of many men and women of God. These enemies, because they've sown seeds of wickedness, remember, the, what the, the word of God is true. The word of God is a two-edged double sword. You know, we're told this. Yeah, okay. The, what, what, what the word of God says it means. It says we reap, we reap what we sow. Okay, your enemies are going to reap what they sow. Okay, believe you me. So let, I pray, Lord strike these enemies down with 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 madness curse them with a curse of insanity lord you are the best one at cursing curse our unrepentant enemies with a with a with a curse of madness with a curse of insanity strike them with dementia strike them god jehovah god strike them down with dementia strike our unrepentant enemies down with madness with dementia with mental ill health because not because we're wicked because that's what they wanted to do to us lord let them reap what they sow thank you heavenly father you are the god of justice thank you lord thank you heavenly father Amen.